All right, guys, today we're going to be taking a look at set number 75206 from the LEGO Star Wars series, Jedi and Clone Troopers Battle Pack. Okay, so <clears throat> what I want to do here is I want to do uh, a set recycle, which is basically what they used to do on the back of LEGO boxes. They used to take the existing pieces in just that set and rebuild it into something different. Um, I haven't seen them do that in a little while, but um, I wanted to do that on this and just kind of show uh, what is possible with with various sets. I don't know uh, if this set's going to be offered too much chance at at doing too big of variations, but um, but I hopefully will continue the series and kind of do various videos um, on on other sets as well on little on a bit bigger sets. Um, I think though I'll stick with with kind of small to medium sets because I I kind of think it's fun to see what you can do with so few pieces. Um, so as you can see, I've already built most of the set. Um, I didn't want to just go through and build the set, but I may do that in the future if that's if that's something you guys would like to see. Um, but I'll I'll show it to you guys fully put together. Um, So this set is nice if you enjoy collecting minifigures because for such a small set it does come with four minifigures, which is quite a lot. But I'll just kind of organize the parts we've got here. <clears throat> so as you can see it comes with these the Sith Lord, this uh, Jedi Master, two clone troopers. Actually, I don't know if she's Sith, but um, three lightsaber hilts, two lightsaber blades, and then it actually comes with four of these one by one plate blasters, or, or actually, no, sorry, two of the blasters. And then two of these blasters that are integrated into a one by two plate. And then it's got a few extra pieces here. So what I'll do is I'll just deconstruct this this set, and I will um, try and organize the pieces out, and then see what I can do from there. All right. So I've loosely uh, organized these pieces by <clears throat> by part type. Um, I've got all these small pieces over here. I've got kind of these uh, random miscellaneous pieces here. Uh, I've got kind of tile or sp smooth pieces, and I've got plates. And um, and then I also have this cape. I just didn't bother to take it out. Um, Okay, so what I'd like to do, so this is the mock -a day channel, but I also have my Mech-A-Day Facebook page. So I thought I would try and build a mech to begin with, um, which I think is going to be a little tricky just because of the limited parts. Um, but I also thought it'd be really cool to maybe do a mech that integrates one of these um, clone troopers as a pilot. So... That's kind of what I want to try with this build, and I, I think I'm going to try and use this glass as kind of the windshield like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to start building and see what comes to me. I think because of this bar attachment being the only real attachment point, um, I'm kind of limited to, limited to my options of how I can attach this guy, um, other than these studs. It does have those studs, but I've already got these 1x2 plates with uh, modified plates with a little hook on them that I can use. I've also got these um, bars with a clip on the end. 
And forgive me if I'm not using uh, the proper name for these or <laughs> a name you're not familiar with, but um, I'm going to do my best. So, <clears throat> let's see. I think I like, I'd like to use these. Okay. Actually, I'm going to, let's see, how, how high does it go? Growing up, I used to do this frequently. This is how I interacted with most of my Legos. Is I, I loved building the sets, but then I, I loved more kind of just coming up with my own design afterwards. Um, now, again, I'm, I'm kind of working with limited pieces here, so it's not going to be the best design in the world but but you kinda gotta work with what you got also because this is um, because I have so few parts I may just try and do like a a bipedal neck okay what else can these little bars attach to so especially when I'm building a set like this I kind of take inventory of what I've got and try and imagine beforehand um, how I can make connections and how I can utilize pieces so these bars um, or sorry these little bars with a clip on the end without something to clip onto or insert the bar into they're kind of worthless to me so I'm trying to imagine how I can use those effectively I also need to remember what I've what I've got in pairs because typically I like to make designs that are symmetrical and so um, if I use one thing on a sorry I guess I should say typically I like to make designs that are uh, symmetrical from left to right but not necessarily from front to back um, so I like a lot of uh, our vehicles or you know um, a lot of the things that humans make in general are symmetrical from left to right, but they're not symmetrical from front to back. Um, so, so I have to remember that if I use one of the pieces that I've only got two of on a front to back thing, then I can't use it on a left to right symmetry line.
Hmm, I'm trying to imagine how I can do these legs. Alright, so I'm kind of getting an idea of what I want to do for the leg. It's not going to be pretty, but it's something. To utilize the pieces that I've got. Something I like to do too is I like to imagine things um, out of context. So, for instance, these... <clears throat> these little pistol pieces they obviously work great as little pistols but since I don't have that many pieces um, kind of reinventing them as a portion of my leg here Recording audio, babe. Well, I'm, and I'm gonna like kind of edit some of it out, but. Um, those are certainly parts that you can use if you'd like to play around. Have you already done all these bots? Oh yeah, those, no I haven't. Okay. No, so those are ones I have yet to start filming. Okay. Are these all the ones that you have? Hmm? I've got all those pieces up there as well. Oh, okay. I don't have a lot of like bricks. Maybe I should have this 
Alright, so I'm kind of coming into this design here, as you can see. It is taking shape. I think I need to come up with a way to fit the pilot in there. So I think he'll just sit in there somehow. Sure, where his hands land. You can kind of see what I'm going for here. One of the things I like about building with such limited parts is it kind of forces you to be inventive in ways that you really wouldn't have otherwise. Uh, like these these odd wing things, I don't really know what I'm doing with them just yet, but I needed a, I need a spacer there. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to use these little pistols as um, little controls. Maybe. I don't know if it'll work. It's, it's a little off, but it kind of works. So clearly he's a little back heavy right now, <clears throat> but it's kind of getting there. And and the figure will just have to sit in there the way I want to make it. But now I want to put this on somehow. Just had an idea. I thought it would be cool to maybe create like a targeting reticle. <laughs> I don't know if that'll come across, but that's way too high. Oh, actually, it kind of works. Another problem with building with such few parts and not really the ideal parts is that your design can tend to be a little fragile, as we are witnessing here as it's just kind of popping apart. That's 
kind of cool, kind of like. Okay, definitely need to reinforce the back of the pelvis there. Unfortunately, the two joints that are taking all the weight, the ankles, are also the two weakest joints. Because of these little pistol things. Okay, but he, he's standing. So we'll put him here for now. All right, I've got to come up with a better way to strengthen this back part. I think also because these studs on here aren't doing anything for us, um, I'll use one of these tiles. there. And I've also only got one of these left, so I'll just put that there to kind of fill the space so that there's not a hole right there. Let's see. And I also like to have, I like to avoid studs um, if I can, so I'm going to try and fill that in somehow. I think I'll use this guy. Um, I was going to use these two pieces on the back here, but I'm going to I'm changing my mind. So I'll take this 2x2 two two slope, put that on there. It's kind of cool. I desperately need to fill this in. It's just very, it's very weak right now. All right, and I'm I'm running low on parts here, so I'm gonna kind of cheat it. I'm gonna use a couple of these one by one round plates, and then I'll put that guy there. That way he's kind of got these little thrusters on the bottom. Actually, I could do thrusters here as well. It's kind of cool. There go both of the controllers. I might actually do better if I pull these out. I don't know how to get these things out once they're in. Alright, when in doubt, resort to using your teeth. Now I won't inadvertently jettison these controls off by hitting the little trigger. Okay. Now that's a bit more reinforced, but it's still not great. And it, it still looks a little weird. <laughs> Unfortunately. Honestly, what I'd like to do is see if I can maybe use this on the back. Mm. No, that's a little funny looking. Okay. I'm kind of liking the simplicity of the top there, actually. Man, if I could stick this on somehow. Okay, I'm getting an idea here.
So let's take stock of what I've got. I've got these little, I've got this handlebar, which I think I can attach on here and use for something. Maybe it's just these little shooter things, or maybe they're Only got character. It's kind of interesting. I don't really like the angle that it sits at, but that's kind of it's kind of what I'm stuck with. Hmm. Kind of like that. All right. You know, I think I'm uh, pretty happy with that. Let's see if I can build something with the leftover parts here. Also, I don't have a whole lot here, so.
these little guys cannot attach to many things. They can attach to some things, but there's not a whole lot I can do with those. All right, well, I think I'm pretty happy with that. So here is my mech design. All right, so here is my mech uh, based on just the parts from this set. Um, I had a pretty limited amount to work with, so I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I, th I think it was just over 100 pieces. I don't have the box with me right now, but um, I especially wanted to do at least a bipedal mech because um, that, that's the kind of mech that I really love. And um, I think I pulled it off pretty well. As you can see, I had to get a little inventive with the leg joints. Um, really the only actual joint pieces that were part of the set were the click joints that attached the wings to the fuselage of the, the speeder craft. Um, so the, I didn't really have anything, any practical hinges for, for the leg. So I had to use kind of the sandwiched plate method uh, to get bendable hinges. Um, I, I spoke about how, while I was building, I spoke about how I like to see pieces out of context and use them out of context. And so that's kind of what I did with those uh, ankle pieces, the blaster plates, it's the one by two black plate that has the blaster attached to it um, and it's certainly not the strongest connection because those blasters are made to pop studs out of them and and so the feet you know if you just touch those little triggers the feet just want to pop right off but but obviously it's standing on its own which is nice um, I actually really like the the way I integrated in those 4x4 four four round ring plates on the sides. I, like I said, as I was building it, I really just needed a way to rise the little control handles, which I was using blasters for. Uh, I needed to rise them off of the, the surface a little bit more, so I had those pieces lying around and I wasn't using them for anything else. I really didn't see myself using them for anything else, so I thought that was a good opportunity. And I think it works in the design. I think it kind of gives this idea of maybe uh, uh, like a shield generator or some sort of sonic device. But in any sense, I, I kind of like how it works. Um, I'm not entirely happy with the the main thruster unit coming off the back. I just kind of slapped that on. I don't feel like it necessarily feels finished the way it is. I think it, it could do with some sort of cowling uh, over the top of it. Um, but yeah, really I, I wasn't expecting to get as good of a design as this with just this set. I really wasn't expecting to be able to build something uh, as nice. I thought it was was going to be a really rough build, but it came together nice, and I'm really glad that I was able to use it, uh, make, make it minifig scale, so that I could actually have a pilot. Um, and it it honestly feels very uh, well. It, it kind of feels Star Warsy to me the way the pilot sits in there. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the build. Let me know if you guys think it was a successful build or not. I'd also like to know what you guys think about the, the usage of the parts. Uh, whether you think um, it, it was a, a well-built model or, or a well-designed mech, at least. Um, I'd also be really interested if you guys have the same set. I'd love to see what you guys can build, what you guys can recycle these pieces into. Um, so yeah, if you have the same set or if you go out and get your own set, 
uh, throw it together. Let me see what you guys got and post pictures in the comments. As always, please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And keep on building. Take care, guys.